Good morning, kindergarten. This is Miss Richardson. And today we're going to read our last book about families. All of our books this week was about families. And you learned about different story elements. You learned about characters, setting, and the problem in the story. Today, we're going to talk about the solution. The solution is how the problem was solved. I'll say that again. Solution, how the problem was solved. Okay, can you repeat after me? Solution, how the problem was solved. How the problem was solved. So that's what we're going to talk about today. As you see in my picture from the three little pigs, how did they solve their problem? Yeah, they, the wolf got in the pot and they were going to eat him. In some stories, they were going to eat him. They put him in the pot. In other stories, he went in the chimney, his tail got burnt, and then he ran away. But that's the solution to the story, how they solved their problem. So our last book that we're going to read about families is called, Where Are You Going, Little Mouse? It's written by Robert Krauss, and the pictures are by Jose Orego and Arian Dewey. So Robert Krauss was the author. He wrote the words. The illustrator who drew the pictures were Jose Orego and Arian Dewey. So while we're reading the story, I want you to think about what was Little Mouse's problem and how he solved his problem. Think about what his problem was and how he solved the problem. So again, our, our title is, Where Are You Going, Little Mouse? So let's look at the title page. We see Little Mouse is carrying a sack. Why do you think he's carrying a travel sack? Okay, let's see if you're right. Pay close attention to the pictures while I'm reading the story. Where are you going, little mouse? As far away from home as I can go. What of your mother? What of your father? What of your sister? What of your brother? On his bed, it says, goodbye forever. Look at the pictures. Look at his mom and dad, his brother and sister. How do you think they're feeling right now? Yeah, they may be worried and sad because little mouse is gone. They don't love me. They won't miss me. What will you do? Find a new father who plays with me. So we can tell already that Little Mouse is having a problem with his family. What is Little Mouse's problem with his father? Okay, and why is he mad at his father? Yeah, his father doesn't want to play with him. So he's trying to find a new father who will play with him. Find a new mother who stays with me. Find a new brother who isn't mean. Find a new sister. We're a team. Have you found them? I'm still looking, but I miss my mother. So why do you think Little Mouse is starting to miss his mother? Great, thank you. Have you found them? I'm exploring. I miss my father. 
Have you found them? I'm still searching. I miss my sister. Have you found them? I'm still searching. I'm still trying. I miss my brother. It's getting dark. What will you do? So I want you to think. Make a prediction. What do you think Little Mouse is going to do next? Okay, let's see if you were right. Make a phone call. Did you guess that he was going to make a phone call? If you did, you can pat yourself on the back and say, good job, me. Mother, father, please don't worry. Come and get me. Hurry, hurry. So we see the hot air balloon coming to get him. His brother and sister in the smaller balloon. By the way, they kiss and hug me. I can tell they really love me. I love them too. It's the end of the book. So I want to know, what do you think Little Mouse's problem was? Great, thank you. And so now we identify his problem. How did he solve his problem? Yeah, thank you. So, we can learn a lesson from Little Mouse. What do you think the lesson is in this story? Great, thank you. So, now that we read, we talked about the problem the problem and solution. So, in your assignment, I want you to draw a picture of the solution. How did Little Mouse solve his problem? You're going to draw a picture of the solution. That's your assignment for today. Thank you, kindergarten, for listening to this story with me, and I hope you have an amazing day.